Hello traders, just a quick top-down analysis for you here on Bitcoin. We'll try and keep it below three minutes long. So on the daily, of course, we did have that drop on Monday. As of yet, this is inconclusive as to whether this is a deviation outside of the range and we're looking for a reclaim in higher prices or if this is a legitimate breakdown with a bearish back test and then we are looking for another leg lower. Uh, not too much to be said on the daily here. You can see the 50 EMA uh, consolidation below that but nothing uh, nothing too exciting on there. Really to get a better picture, you got to go down onto the four hour and things start to look really good. The four hour is really just running the show at the moment and is giving some really good uh, day trade and slightly higher time frame trades to be taken. So yesterday, okay, of course we did the live stream. We were looking for that move um, up towards this four hour OB. Uh, during the FOMC. So as long as we were able to hold here, we were looking at this basically this box with the four hour um, OB as being major resistance. You can see we tapped up into that, but a close below. Um, and as of yet, okay, we are still looking at this very much inconclusive. Is this a deviation or are we looking at this as just the first leg after a breakdown uh, and then we're going to be going to lower prices? Um, that 50 and that 200 moving average here, the death cross uh, did occur. You got that draw into it, um, which again is something that you quite often see. So the red line being the 200 four hour EMA, the yellow line being the 50 uh, uh, four hour EMA. So once again, there was confluence there. Um, if at the moment I would say you'd have to have a short bias because we are at resistance right now. So if you are looking for a short position, then whether that's gonna be internal, looking down towards that 29,050 level that we had spoken about, I'll just, uh, show that on the lower time frames in just a second or whether we're looking at this as being a one leg down bearish back test and then that takes you down to that uh, 28,500 which is the previous range highs over there then um, yeah that's uh, a couple of trades that you can take from this. Going down again onto the one hour um, I'll remove the EMAs uh, for now on this one because really I don't tend to use them uh, apart from the higher time frames. Again, you can see um, just, yeah, the, the coming back in to fill the single prints. Um, holding for now the daily open, and I think if we do do an anchored VWAP from this low, then this is holding quite nicely. It's also holding the daily VWAP at the moment. Um, nothing more to be said once again. Uh, short positions would be favorable at this stage. Um, and I think that would then become an invalidation if we do start to hold above 29,500. Then you'd be looking for a move back up there. Uh, a couple of the trades that I have given as examples basically this morning for um, the crew, if we just go over onto the Discord, there's a couple of trades I'm looking for. So if we do start to break down um, into the previous day POC, the range POC, then I could give a little long followed by a short from value area high and daily open. Um, we also have the possibility of a move up to take liquidity above this four hour OB, which could give a short position that lines up with the golden pockets around the POC. And what else do we have? That's uh, Those are the main kind of trade ideas that I am looking at right now. Uh, just to go over that on here, so that would be a potential move up to here, short position, and then you get um, the this little range point of control here lining up. Um, if you're looking at this, then getting a, if we do not head up there and we come back inside value area, then you could expect bounce off of the daily, the previous day open, um, the daily level back into the daily open and then look for a short a little bit lower there. Uh, 30 minute time frame, same kind of thing. Okay, consolidation above the value area high. Once again, um, short positions kind of getting validated if we start to hold above here and then you would be expecting that move up towards this. Uh, if we do expand things on a little bit, okay, if, if we are to, to hold here, then yeah, 30,500 becomes um, the next level. You've got the midpoint of this previous range and you've got the, the highs over there. Uh, the last little thing just to quickly mention, okay, this is now up to five minutes, but that's okay. Um, confluence. POC with this high, 
And then if we draw this back to the start, then we have the value area low of this larger range as confluence here, okay? So I think that wraps it up. Um, enjoy your day, thank you, bye.